Happy Tuesday, Chargers. I'm Heather. And I'm Dallas. Insert witty comment here. DP News starts now. Leadership interviews start today and will run until Thursday. Interview times are posted around campus, so be sure to know your time, because if you miss your time, it cannot be rescheduled. Interviews will be held in T5 and last approximately 10 minutes. We will see you there. Good luck to everyone. Work permit applications are required for all summer jobs and must be turned in before the year is finished. Info is in the Career Center. The Chalk Festival has been happening and the art is amazing. Students created this work alone or as a team and have really impressed the judges. Go by the flagpole to see the art firsthand. Tune in tomorrow to see the results and find out who will be representing our school at the e Modinari Festival at the Mission this weekend. DP artists took top honors in the Student Art Fund Contest. Congrats to all of our artists. Tomorrow is Senior Dress Up Day and tomorrow night is Senior Awards Night. So seniors, get your nice clothes out and wear them proudly tomorrow as you celebrate your amazing accomplishments. Make sure to meet in the gym at 6 p.m. Congrats to senior Martin Castillo for winning the prestigious $2,500 Insight Scholarship. What a great accomplishment for Martin. Congrats to Latin teacher Sarah McGinnis and the 95 students who entered this year's National Latin Exam. DP earned 38 awards, including six gold, Summa cum laude, 9 silver maxima cum laude, 10 magna cum laude, and 12 cum laude medals. Junior Mark Raphael earned special distinction for having won a gold medal for four consecutive years. Great job. Talent show tryouts are wrapping up. If there are any last minute acts that would like to audition, contact Miss Bollinger in A3 immediately. Yearbooks are here. Well, not yet, but soon. On Thursday, the yearbooks will be distributed to anyone who has bought one. If you are a senior and have ordered a book, you can expect to have them delivered to you. If your senior book doesn't get delivered, you can come to a special back entrance to the EPAC and pick one up during 6th and after school. 9th, 10th, and 11th graders are a different story. Underclassmen can pick up their books after school on Thursday. If you're on a team and want to line up during 6th period, go to your coach for a wristband. If you don't have a 6th period and want to line up, go to your counselor. They will check your schedule and give you a wristband. Without a wristband, you'll be turned away until after school. The line will go quickly, so don't wait. There will be pens, autograph pages, and calligraphy. That's the Thursday after school in the EPAC. If you haven't bought your yearbook yet, Make sure you bring a check to the business office for $85 or order it online. So get a wristband from your counselor or coach if you don't have a six or pick up your book after school or else you'll have to wait until next Tuesday. Questions? Email jdent at dphs.org. See you later, DP. I'm Dallas. She's Heather. Now over to Native Peach with the sports. What's up, DP? I'm Peach. And I'm Nathan, and let's get to it. We had some winners come out of Swim and Dive, with Tanner Neal taking first place in Boys Dive, as well as Mariah Dodero and Amanda Boschke taking third. Alex Valente had a record-breaking time at the CIF Southern Section Swim Meet with a 46.69 in the 100 Butterfly. In response to his outstanding performance, Valente commented, After my 100 fly at finals, I was unexpectedly unsatisfied. Valente said, For whatever reason, I felt that I could have done better and that I wasn't truly reaching my full potential at this time of the season. But when it comes down to it, I'm really happy about the race. I went in confident knowing that I had trained for this moment and that if I had been preparing, I would break the record. The magical season of Dos Pueblos Tennis came to an end on Friday against the very powerful Corona Del Mar. The Sea Kings swept in singles and knocked the Chargers out of the CIF Division I playoffs with a 13-5 decision in the second round. The Sea Kings were known as being a top flight team against our tennis team and did not go down without a fight. Petra Corpus lost two tight singles in the last two rounds and doubles the first round went over an hour where Mason Cassidy and Joshua Wang Alex Yang and Greg Stoggerwald both came out on the short end of tiebreakers in the first round and lost 7-5. Cassidy and Wang won their next two sets, 6-1, 6-1, and finished their year with a 54-3 record. Yang and Stoggerwald won a tight second round set. Stoggerwald suffered an injury in the set and did not get to play the third round. Miles Baldwin and Andrew Tufankian endured a long second set and won 7-5. They won 6-2 in the third round. DP enjoyed its best season in history and shared its channel league with Santa Barbara. Won the doubles title and posted the best record in Division I at 17-4. Great job, guys. The following DP student athletes were chosen as part of the SB Art Athlete Student of the Year for their sports. Wrestling, Cameron Cox. Boys Cross Country, Cole Smith. 
Girls Cross Country, Addie Zerenner. Girls Golf, Megan Caird. Boys Water Polo, Blake Parrish. Boys Golf, Grant Emerson. Boys Swim, Alex Valente. Girls Swim, Co. Shannon Cleary. Girls Track, Stamatius Garvalis. Boys Track, John Dickinson. Baseball, Danielle Barato. And softball, Lonnie Evans. Congrats, everyone. Nate Holmes was a volleyball player on fire last Tuesday night at DPCAF first round match against Rigetti. The senior put on a dazzling display of his all-around skills to lead the Chargers to a 25-19, 25-17, and 25-22 sweep over Rigetti High School in the Sovine Gym. Holmes had team highs of 12 kills and 24 digs and even handed out a couple of assists. Our season ended with a second round CAF loss in the CAF playoffs to Lakewood High School. Big Blue battled very hard against Lakewood before going down in four sets, 25-19, 25-15, 23-25, and 25-23. DP led the fourth game at 23-21 and was only two points away from sending the game to a fifth and deciding set, but they did not close out the set. Our boys golf suffered a very disappointing loss in CIF League Finals. Ventura won totaling 397, with runners up Oaks Christian at 399. They are the only two teams out of 18 to continue to compete in the CIF Southern Section Championship Tournament. It was a great run for our Dos Pueblos boys until next season. As for track and field, we've had several athletes qualify for next Saturday's CIF SS Division II Finals. Stamatius Carvalis qualified in the shot put and discus, Addy Zarenner in the 3200 meter run, Sydney Albuquerque in the pole vault, Niamh Poindexter in the triple jump, and Joseph Ochoa and Jonathan Dickinson in the shot put. Here are the real list of everyone who participated in the preliminaries. Well, that's all we have for you for your sports today. I'm Nathan. And I'm Peach. Have, Have a, a good, good one, one DP. DP.